For conflict resolution at these schools, at the circle school, we have JC, which is our judicial committee, and we have mediation. Mm. And then, of course, informal interpersonal conflict resolution happens all the time. Mm -hmm, But JC is more for, like, rule breaking at school. Mm. Um, And anyone, students or staff, can, like, write a complaint if they think a rule has been broken. And then it gets heard by a panel of students and staff which includes a JC chair and a JC scribe, which are both Mm. students who've been elected to the position and trained on how to run the JC. Hmm. Now, when I started at one of these schools, I was four, but my parents were very involved with this model of education. Hmm. And so they understood it and they weren't, you know, asking me questions about it and being like, Hmm. well, that's weird. Like, how does that work? (laughs) And so I never really considered the alternatives to it. I was like, well, how would you solve a problem if it's not, you know, everybody kind of deciding together how it, you know, works out. And so it just, it felt very natural to me. It is mm. in some ways similar to like a jury system. Mm-hmm. So there's not really a real world, you know, example of how conflict is resolved in schools. You don't really have just an adult who gets to tell you, yeah, that's wrong. I've decided you're, you're <laughs> right, you're wrong. You pushed him. I've decided that that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And, and talk about the role of adults in that, Cody. Sure. Yeah. So Pepper talked about our judicial committee, which is modeled after, essentially after the U.S. judicial system. And then we also have our school meeting, which is a direct democracy, votes on rules, votes on who can be here, use of the property, things like that. And so my role essentially is to be involved in it and sort of demonstrating how how people come together and make decisions so mm-hmm. i i kind of a thing that i try to do i have an improv background so and a, an improv motto is yes and right. so that's something i try to incorporate here we have people of various stages of development who use our school meeting oftentimes ideally as a tool to achieve things that they're interested in mm-hmm. and so I want to support that system sort of executing at a high level, sort of, you know, if we pass a rule, I want the rule to be Mm well-written. And yet at the same time, I want to be sort of yes-anding the ideas that kids bring. So to, Mm -hmm. to work with them in partnership to say, okay, well, here's what you want to do. Maybe you're ready to do it totally on your own. Maybe there are some areas where you would appreciate some help. I want to be there to meet there with you and work in a, in partnership wherever you're at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and so th- the role of adult is to be an equal member of this community. That sounds like what I'm hearing, right? Yeah, that that's right. And you know, I would say maybe the more in the con- broader context of education, maybe the more radical way to put it would be that the role of student here is to be an equal member. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Is that? I mean, you you said it yourself that that it's about modeling. So, so the lesson, the curriculum, is that process. Is let's do this. Mm-hmm. We're not going to tell you about it in the abstract. We're going to have you do this every day or every you know whatever the frequency of the meetings are, whatever. But it's it's you know when people talk about uh, immersion language immersion, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to do, you know, half our day or all of our day in this other language. That's not your, the, the, the dominant language in that community. And so I think that that's, to me, that's a way of understanding, better understanding what the, how it works is it is immersion. It's immersion in democratic living. Absolutely. Um, And, and so, and so, like you said, uh, Pepper, you know, it's like, well, Don't know anything else (laughs) if you've been doing it since you're four. It's like, that's just how life is, isn't it? (laughs) This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.